Malt is one of the basic raw materials in brewing. It is where all the extract usually comes from, and it gives beer its body, flavor, and color. There are many different types of malts, and malt classification can sometimes be a bit confusing. It can be based on the ways the malts were produced, on raw materials, or on final product properties. To keep things relatively simple, we will be discussing four malt types. Base malts, caramel and crystal malts, roasted malts, and other malts. This video will focus on base malts. As the name suggests, base malt make up most of the total malt weight, up to 100% as a matter of fact. After steeping and germination, they are kilned using low to moderate final kilning temperatures. Consequently, these malts are rich in enzymes and they are also the major source of brewer's extract. The flavor impact of base malts can generally be described as low. Pilsner malts or lager malts are produced from plump two-row barley with low protein content. They are steeped to just over 40% moisture, go through cool germination and are killed at temperatures over 80 degrees Celsius or just over 175 degrees Fahrenheit. These malts are low in color, 1-2 to two lava bonds, with light yellow hue, very mild flavor such as grainy, bready or even mild DMS or dimethyl sulfite, which is the cooked corn or canned corn flavor. They're mostly used in the production of different lagers and kolsch. Even though they're not made from barley, wheat malts have some similar characteristics and are mostly used in the production of German Hefeweizens. Next, we have so-called color base malts. They're produced from fully modified green malts and the final kindling temperatures are in the range between 85 and 115 degrees Celsius or 185 and 240 degrees Fahrenheit. It is worth mentioning here that as the kindling temperature increases, the enzyme content of the malt is decreased while the color and flavor both increase. These malts also contribute more body and malt feel to the final beer. Pale ale malts are produced from best two row barley with very low protein content. Kilning temperatures of 90 to 95 degrees Celsius or 194 to 203 degrees Fahrenheit remove any grassy notes. The color is two to three lava bonds. They are characterized by malty and biscuity flavors with slight toffee notes. These malts are used for the production of classic English ales. Mild malts are produced from the same barley as pale ale malts, but the final killing temperatures are in the range of 110 to 120 degrees Celsius or 230 to 248 degrees Fahrenheit. As a consequence, the color is up 3 to 3.5 lava pounds, and the malt has a rich nutty, toffee and caramel flavor. It is used for the production of British top fermented cask ales. Vienna malts are produced from a two-row barley with slightly higher protein than Pilsner malts. The malt is well modified at slightly higher germination temperatures and kilned at about 90 degrees Celsius or 195 degrees Fahrenheit. The color can be between 2.4 and 4.3 lava bond. The malt has nutty and toffee flavors and is used in the production of European golden lagers. Munich malts can be produced from the same barley as Vienna malts, but are slightly over modified. The final kilning temperatures are between 100 and 105 degrees Celsius or 212 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Malt color is between 3 and 5 lava bonds. They are characterized by rich, nutty aromas and flavors and are used for brewing strong, full-bodied and somewhat darker lagers.